Hello, welcome back to Lego Pad 86. We're at the mall in South Denton. Uh, today is June 30th, and this is going up on my birthday of August 6th. This is my friend Cody. We met about four years at, uh, at the Catholic Campus Center Christmas party, and he, this is his copy of Super Mario Land 1, and he's going to sh tell about some of the story, the story of it, and then tell him about, tell us about himself first, and then I'm going to give my review of the few minutes I ended up playing the game today, and he's going to give us his thoughts on the game as well. He's going to be a guest host for today, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, my name is Cody Barker, and I graduated a couple of years ago at UNT Integrative Studies, <clears throat> focuses in linguistics, international studies, and one other thing. But huge gaming person, anime enthusiast, many more titles to my name. All right. And tell us a bit about the story of the game, since I'm not very knowledgeable on the story. Oh, of course. Um, well, this takes in Sarasa. This takes place in Sarasa land. Princess Daisy is the ruler, kind of the ruler of the four kingdoms. One day, large dark cloud kind of pops up in the sky. There's a story in the instruction booklets, but Tatanga, a space invader, he hypnotizes all the denizens of the four kingdoms: Birabuto, Muda. Istan and Chai, and Mario picks up on the on the events of this happening. He goes to re rescue Princess Daisy himself, and this is one of those few games that he flies. He flies an airplane called the Skypop. He rides in a little submarine in an, o in an ocean level. So this is all, all together out of any of the platformers. It's very old, thirty years as of now, and it's. Basically, was Very a different. time. It was a time where they didn't really have a lot of Super Mario games, and it just had. They were trying to figure out what they, what trying, they could do. It was it was kind of like the Legend of Zelda versus Legend of Zelda Two, where they were trying to figure out what the hardware could do. Yeah, Legend and of what Zelda Two do. just stunk. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna get into that. Yeah, I, yeah. I I I I, I, tr I know that too, but uh, we're not gonna go into that. This is actually a fun game for what I played. I played it for about 30 minutes or so. I got to World 1-2. Again, if y'all have been following the channel for a while, y'all know that platformers is not my speciality, but... Specialty. Specialty, yes. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, from what I played of it, it's a fun game, and unfortunately, it's overshadowed by its two over over achievers that came after it. The, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, and Super Mario Land 3, Wario's Woods, right? Uh, not even Wario's Woods, but right. it's Super Mario Land 3, Wario something. Wario something. I can't remember right now. But. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, this is uh, one of those games that I highly recommend, and this was actually his grandfather's, he told me, and so... It was a pleasure being able to play something that would be considered a family heirloom in his family. Yeah, I've always held on to it, and I haven't let go since. And so uh, I'll let you give uh, your thoughts on the game as well. I know it's one of your favorites, Yeah. but uh, I'll let you give your thoughts on it as well, since this is a dual review. Oh, sure. Um, as far as items and elements there are a few key differences you get rid of the one-up mushroom you get you have hearts instead that mm -hmm. add to your your life count 100 coins that that hasn't changed you get an extra life for 100 coins when you get an invincibility star this is actually kind of interesting it plays the theme of the the tin can or the can can it's famous da 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 it actually plays that yeah so I heard that in the in the, in the game. At music. Fire flowers are, have been replaced. Now you have what, what's called the super ball. Yeah. Standard super mushroom. You grow a little bit. You get you shrink when you get hit. That hasn't changed. Yeah. A few of the basic em enemies have stayed the same. You have goombos, which are basically the cousins of the goomba, the same function. 
then you have the bombshell poop up. If you hop on them, you have to get up, off a little bit, then they explode. So watch out for that. A uh, lots of lots of different got, enemies they, that never instead, that never show up instead, again. Instead of the hammer throw guys, you have the spear hammer, throw. Hammer, hammer bros. Instead of the hammer bros, you got the uh, spear guys that. Oh yeah, chuck the, little, spears the, little, over the, the little bees. They fly yeah. over you. They chuck spears at you. Yeah. The other. And then you and then you have flowers that you have to hit twice in order to actually knock out. And, and even some of the common elements that you've come to love in the Mario games, like Bowser, Princess Peach, and the Toads, they don't exist or they don't show up here. Uh, every, and, every, this, and there's like four, five different bosses. You have a, a lion sphinx, a giant um, seahorse. One is like a little, a little Moai, um, yeah, Moai Island head and this that is, throws rocks at you. And this is the first time that Princess Daisy appeared in an actual game. She did appear in Super Mario sixty or Mario Kart sixty four, which was her next. Uh, actually, yeah, Mario Mario Tennis. Mario Six Tennis. In, 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 Mario in, Mario Tennis, and then uh, Super Mario Kart sixty four. She's been added to Smash Brothers very recent, recently. In Ultimate. And uh, she was. She's been in a mainstay in the Mario Tennis and uh, yeah, she's a part of the and, Mario family and, ever and since. Kart uh, since. But this is her first actual, in, appearance. actual appearance in the Mario universe, and, and of course, no, nothing's really nothing's really established Daisy wise. She's the dam. She's the damsel here. Yeah, yeah. but. Then again, nothing was established with Princess Peach in the early days either. Yeah. She was just the damsel um, in distress but, too. But it's just um, this will carry on to the Super Mario Land too. Wario goes in in the second one to go steal the castle. It's a Tonga cap kidnapping Daisy and controlling mm -hmm. the four kingdoms was a it was a diversion. Yeah, as we learn later on. So, and of course, I I didn't know any of the stories for any of these games, so I'm glad that he was able to join me on uh, this video. Um, and once again, this is this video is going up on my birthday, and uh, I hope y'all will like, comment, and subscribe, and if y'all have any games that y'all want reviewed, and y'all are in North Texas, if y'all want to meet, I'll have, I'll be able to guest host just like with this guy, uh, Mr. Cody. Uh -huh. And uh, you can uh, guest host your own if you have a game that you're passionate about and you want to actually do a video with me. So, and you're in North Texas at any given time. So, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. We are, of course, filming this in the mall with every, with most of the things being closed down because COVID. But you know, that's what happens when. My room's a mess, <laughs> and we're, I'm planning, I'm getting ready to move into a new house, so it's one of those things that you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Anyways, uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you next video. Thank Bye -bye. you, and see you next time.